Hey guys, so doing a quick build update vlog on how Bloodworks is coming along. Uh, I've done the initial build so far was the Rampage 6 Apex and the 7900X just to get, sort of see how performance and temperatures are going before I get my extreme next week and hopefully the 7980XE uh, well after comes out because I will be sending it to Silicon Lottery to get it deleted just so I can keep the thermals in check because uh, as you can imagine, an 18 core or 36 fret beast overclocked to well over 4 gigahertz is gonna, it's not gonna be easy to cool, but I'll be getting a mono block for the Rampage 6, uh, so I, just so I can keep overall temperatures down because uh, there are improved channels in the mono blocks now compared to uh, just the EK Supremacy. Anyway, I've done some quick benchmarks here and I want to share with you. As you can see here, I ran Crystal Disk Mark, and these numbers here are pretty insane. Uh, six and a half gigabytes per second on the read, and over nine gigabytes per second on the write. Now, initially, my numbers were nowhere near this. I was sitting around three gigabytes on the read, and just over three gigabytes per second on the write. However, what let me get these insane numbers is, I was looking around the ASUS website just to see if I had all the proper drivers installed for the Apex, and I remember trying out RAM cache a while ago, and I was thinking, because earlier versions of it were giving me issues with the system going to sleep, like it wouldn't let me go to sleep at all. But I decided to try it out now to see if they fix those issues. And I ran Crystal Disk Mark just to see if it's faster. And since I'm running 64 gigabytes right now of G Skill Trident Z, I decided, you know, I'm not using all my memory, so I dedicated 16 gigabytes to RAM cache, and it more than doubles. It, 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 it more than doubles my read speed and literally triples my write speed. And I'm not 100% sure why it gives so much of a performance boost, especially since this is just a two drive RAID array, but these numbers are pretty insane. And guys, this isn't just a benchmark. Like, Windows boots up faster, games load faster, and overall it's just like a, a much better experience when using RAM cache. So if you have an ACID board and are running a RAID array, I highly recommend you try this out. Uh, as for the CPU overclock, uh, I've gotten uh, 4.7 gigahertz on the CPU at 1.31 volts, which is pretty high for Skylake X, but this chip is deleted and thermals are under 80C, which is in check, although it is pretty hot, but most of the time it's nowhere near that temperature. Uh, I've also gotten the memory overclocked. Uh, to 3700 megahertz. Now the XMP in the 64 gigabyte kit comes up to uh, 3333 megahertz, but I got over 3700 and unfortunately this kit will run 3800 megahertz, but I overclock using BCLK just so I can get all the system uh, frequencies up higher because it benchmarks a little bit better that way, but that doesn't allow you to select 3800. It goes from 3700 all the way up to 3980 megahertz and that's just not stable. I even tried it was like 1.5 volts on the on the memory and it's still not stable unfortunately but you know these these are really good overclocks so I'm not really complaining too much. Anyway I got my two Poseidon 1080 Ti's up to 2050 megahertz which is pretty good you know not many Ti's can go over 2 gigahertz and I got the memory the memory is pretty interesting on these uh, it does hit 12 gigahertz, however, games sort of stutter. And it's not more of a stuttering, as in it's just like inconsistent frame timing. It's like, f the frames just feel way off. And at first I thought that, you know, um, I've seen videos where people were seeing that Pascal starts to drop your voltage if you max it out all the way, and I thought maybe it could be the, the GPU itself throttling. But I backed off my memory speed to 11.8 uh, gigahertz, and it just runs perfectly fine, so I decided I'll just keep it at there. But, I mean, these are still really good overclocks. So anyway, uh, this is speed I got just for this test build, uh, just to see, you know, like how well it performs before I really start uh, putting in the big parts, like the 7980XE and the Rampage. So in the meantime, guys, uh, enjoy the build.